Welcome back. We continue our conversation with Delaware State Treasurer Ken Simpler, who said immediately when I said he has an upcoming run for governor, he said that will be edited out, right? And 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 no, but I'll, I will let you say that it's not true. I think what I said is thanks for throwing me under the bus, Larry. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, it is a question I get asked because I'm I've won a recent election. Um, I'm a Republican, who, and we haven't won a lot of statewide elections. So it's a fair question, and I know we're here to, to generate an audience and make people talk about politics, and that's not all bad. But um, the candid response I would give is, I really like my current job. Um, it is the job I ran for because of my background, because of my skill set as a finance officer. And I had a whole lot of challenge actually persuading people, one, that I could win, which is an obvious, and that's a fair you know point. But the second thing I really got a lot of pushback on is that People just didn't believe the job mattered. And the one thing I felt confident about was not that I could win, but that the job mattered, if done well and if done like a chief financial officer should execute this job. And part of that is doing what we just talked about in the prior segment, trying to help people unpack the pieces of this big puzzle. A lot of the arguments we have is sort of false choices. But, but as you answered that question about running for governor, do you not want the job? Would you not ever be interested in the job? You know, I would not say... I, this is my first job in politics ever, right? I've never worked in the public sector. I've been at it two and a half years, not even two and a half years. Um, I'd like to feel that I can add value at this post before I'd ever consider another post, whether that's a governor or whether it's anything else. Maybe it's in a non-elected You're position. not at that point yet where you I'm feel not, like you've added value? Well, you know, adding value means to me changing the things that are material in a systemic way. And right now, I've been able to fix the operations in my office, which Delawareans don't see, but the banking services we do, the investment portfolio we do, the day-to-day -day stuff, yeah, we are a much more performance-driven organization in my little world right now. And the committees and councils I work on, um, yeah, I feel like I've brought value to our discussions around healthcare and how we shape employee healthcare benefits, about how we structure our fiscal systems. But at the end of the day, I don't have the legislative pen of a, of a general assembly member. I don't get a vote, and I'm not the governor. So my powers are around persuasion and, and unpacking some of these ideas, and they take time. I mean, you know, I served on a council when I was here two years ago with you. I talked about nothing had germinated from that at that time. We just had the, the, the meeting. But two years later, we've had three proposals that have affected our corporate franchise, our personal incomes, and our corporate income tax that came out of that advisory work. And so I'm very happy with the role I play, and so far, you know, the biggest challenge for me is picking the things I can affect. You're never going to get away from this question. It's going to no, be asked you all fair. the time be, because you, and, and it's a compliment. It is a compliment from people that would like you to run for governor, and that's why it comes up all the time, and the party would like you to run. So uh, you hear this from Republicans, and I would think the Democrats would be interested in it too, to come up with a, a structure for raising revenue, that, that you have to look at what we're bringing in and, and, and what our budget is to raise revenue, and there has to be a system to raise revenue. Would you you agree with that? Absolutely. And we don't have that now? We have, we, we have a, a set of revenues that we've inherited from our grandfathers, our grandmothers, and we just tweak it and tinker with it. Okay, we manage it. That's different than actively reconstructing it. As a people, we get to choose which bases of revenues we're going to tax. We get to choose what rates we're going to impose against those, and we get to choose when we collect them. No matter how well we do a job with revenue, if we don't have a vision as a people about how fast over time spending can grow, and we don't. That's not written to any of our budget well, rules. Well, back up for a second. The way this would work, as I understand it, is you would have to have you would have to have a deficit, or growth wouldn't have to be where you wanted it to be to even consider a, a raise, and that would be structural. That would be in the system. Is that we right? We could have designed a system 20 years ago that said, we're going to set spending according to either our means or our needs. Our means, I would define as what is our collective worth in a state. That could be our gross state product. It could be our personal income base. You can pick a number of economic measures that measure our means as a people. I think most people would agree you cannot live outside your means for a very long period of time. You have to live with at least in your means. If we get to control what we collect, which we do because we get to set the tax system, and we get to spend whatever we collect, then we get to move the goalpost along. The way you see the budget debate going right now, mm -hmm. would you agree that we do need some type of tax increase? It is going to be very difficult to challenge our short-term problems without some form of increased revenues because the revenues we have aren't growing. But you would want to see that come with some reduction in spending? Uh, not necessarily reduction. What I want to see is that the revenues that we can actually anticipate and that are reasonable relative to our means, that we live within that over time. That we have a test on spending that is tied to something that is actually w that means we're going to live within our means or our needs over time. So you need long-term structural reform. We need long-term structural reform. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Appreciate you coming here. Delaware State Treasurer Ken Simpler. The Delaware Way continues right after this.